Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you this vampy dark makeup. I revolved the whole look around the lipstick that I'm wearing, which is Cyber by MAC. I'm so obsessed, I don't know why I didn't have it before. A lot of you told me on Instagram that you had this because I put a picture up of this look and you all wanted a tutorial and I was like, yes, I will definitely do a tutorial because I just love it. If you're struggling with bold lips, the key to a bold lip is confidence. If you rock it, nothing else matters and no one's gonna say anything and who cares if someone doesn't like your lipstick? I don't care if someone doesn't like this lipstick I'm wearing because I like it and it's my body. So if you like it, rock it girl, nothing else matters. And this is coming from someone who will wear any color on their lips. But if you just don't like bold lip colors, you could pair this eye and face makeup with any color. You could do pinks, nudes, reds, berries. You could pair this with any because the rest of my makeup is very neutral. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and thumbs up if you like. And let's get started. First, I'm taking the color Cappuccino by Motives Cosmetics and applying this in the crease with a fluffy brush. And this will be our transition shade. Then I'm taking the color Choco Light and I'm applying this with a denser crease brush right below where we applied our transition. You want to focus most of the product on the outer third of the eye and then just work it inwards. For the lid, I'm using the color Whipped Cream, also by Motives. This has become one of my new favorite lid colors. It's very similar to Nylon by MAC, and I'm really focusing on blending out this lid color because I want it to be very diffused. I don't want it to be really harsh. Then I'm going to go back and blend out the crease, and also use the fluffy brush to blend out any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to wing out my eyeliner. I'm using Immortal by Makeup Geek. And you guys should be so proud of me because I never get my gel liner on camera because I'm literally always so close to the mirror. So thumbs up because I got some on camera for you. Then I'm going to apply some false lashes. I'm using Lashes in the City by Velour Lashes. And for foundation, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs new foundation. For the waterline, I'm using a flesh tone liner by MAC, but if you're on a budget, Rimmel has one that's very similar. For concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I know it looks kind of light on camera, but in person it doesn't look this light, and once I set it, it looks perfect. To contour, I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's Bronzer in Medium. I'm going to focus this in the hollows of the cheeks and along my hairline. For blush, I'm going to use Melba by MAC. Since my face is a little bit more round, I'm going to focus it on the higher points of the cheeks and keep it from the outer edge of my eye and backwards. I'm not really bringing it on the apples because that'll just accentuate my face and make it look more round. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go back to Choco Light and just smoke everything out. Then I'm going to take whipped cream and apply that on the inner corners of the eyes. For lips, I'm going to first line my lips with Night Moth Lip Liner from MAC. Then I'm going to apply Dun 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 Cyber Lipstick by MAC. It's so dark and vampy. Pretty much looks black on the lips, but I love this for fall and winter. Like I said, if you don't like dark lipstick, feel free to apply any lip color that you want. Thank you. 
So here's the finished look. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's not for everyone, but change whatever you want. Do it how you want. This is just meant to inspire you to create your own look. Make sure to tag me if you create it or something similar. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to let me know down below what kind of makeup tutorials you want to see next. And I will catch you in my next video.